All right, guys, the first thing we are doing today is I think this pulley right here is bad. It's real loose. It's shaking really bad whenever I uh, engage the blades, and it is very, very loud. So I've never changed the pulley before, but we're going to give it a shot. All right, so I got the old one off. It was very easy. I just took the top bolt out and just pulled up, and it came right off. I believe we can just push this in like this and put the... Put the belt back on the new pulley. I don't see no change. <laughs> Might be that one there now. Alberto thinks it's this one. There's one of them that's really loud. I believe he is right. I think it's that one right there that's making all the racket. All right, guys, this has been one hell of a day. Uh, it's about 11 o'clock. We, we haven't mowed one blade of grass yet. Uh, we've been running around. I only have one truck today because my wife had to take my other one. But here it is. There's the 48 Vantage that I bought. I uh, thought it needed a carb. And even the dealer told me they thought it needed just a carb and it would be uh, ready to go. Turns out it needs a new engine. The uh, cylinder or the piston is stuck in the cylinder. I think it was this side here. So it's stuck in there. They tell me I need a new engine. This one here, turf tracer. This whole spindle I think is bad. It's real loose in there. The bearings are bad in it or something. So I'm gonna have to replace it. Uh, yeah, that's another problem. So our setup today is gonna be the walker. And the 36. These are these are the yards that I normally don't use the walker just because we don't have to bag them, but we're gonna use what we have right now. And I'm gonna buy a new spindle for the X mark for the turf tracer and get that fixed. We can use it tomorrow. But this has been one of those days that you wish everything would just go away. It's been one heck of a day. Yeah. Right, Albero? Yeah. It's you been, see, you see that. been one of those days where nothing has gone right. Nothing at all, but we're still plugging away. See what we can get done, and we'll still be all right. Got the new guy here today. His name is Eddie. Doing pretty good. So I think we'll be just fine. So Albero, everybody wants to know when you're going to take over the vlog, man. Next week. Next week? Yeah, when me and the other guy we go. When you and Eddie go? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, All right. Week. Yeah. All right. So we're doing Spanish. You're going to do the whole thing in Spanish? Half. Half and half? Half and half. All right. Yeah. I'm going to hold you to it.
guys, there's the 48 Vantage I bought uh, about a month ago or so. Haven't been able to use it yet. Uh, let me give you the short version of this. I bought it, I uh, was bogging down a little bit. I assumed it was a carburetor issue. I took it to the dealer. Uh, it also had a problem starting. They replaced the ignition coil on it and they told me that it probably needs a carburetor. So I bought a carburetor, put it on, it still didn't fix it, took it back up there. Now they're telling me the uh, lifter is stuck in the engine, so I need a new engine. Uh, I think I can rebuild this, but I don't have the time to do it right now. It sounds more like a winter project to me. I really don't even want to mess with it. So what I've decided to do is buy a new engine for it and uh, you know go that route. I paid $1,300 for this machine. I paid $1,300 for it. Add on a new engine, uh, $200 for a carburetor. Uh, All together, I'm looking, I'll probably have about $3,000 into this machine. I honestly don't think it's that bad. Uh, you know, if this was for sale for $3,000 with a brand new engine and two year warranty, I'd probably, I'd probably bought it. So, you know, I gotta do a little bit of the legwork. I gotta do, do a little bit of the uh, swapping out of the engines. I think I can handle that. Right now, I'm just looking at buying a new engine. My dealer's giving me a price of about $1,600. Uh, if, if any of you guys know uh, places online that sells them, maybe I can get a little bit cheaper or anything like that, please let me know. I'm gonna do some research this weekend. Hopefully, I can figure something out. Hopefully, I don't have to spend the $1,500. Hopefully, I can maybe get it for $12 or $13. I don't know, but we'll see. We'll see, so that's where that's at. I get a lot of questions about that. And I should, you know. I told you guys about it and I never showed it to you. But uh, anyway, there it is. That's the deal with it. I'm getting ready to change that spindle. Hopefully that fixes that. Hopefully I do not need a pulley puller because I don't have one. And that's kind of where I'm at, guys. Not, not a whole lot of footage today because we didn't do a whole lot of mowing today. Uh, this is where I really needed my other truck. But uh, my wife's car was in the shop, so she needed it for her work. So we lost a lot of good time today. We lost a lot of valuable time today because I didn't have my other truck. So if I'd have had my other truck, I could have sent the boys off mowing. I could have been doing the running around, trying to fix this turf tracer and all that stuff. And we probably lost a good four or five hours worth of mowing today. Spider. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, all right, well, I'm gonna fix this spindle, hopefully. All right, guys, so I had to go get a pulley puller. This is what I got. I should do the trick. Sorry about the lighting, it's starting to get a little dark, but I gotta get this pulley off so I can change that housing. I think the housing is the problem, so I gotta get that, gotta get that off. And also, to make matters worse today, my shaft broke on me, on my, my edger. I guess that's one of the cons of getting the uh, green touch system. Puts pressure right there where the uh, bracket is. So, this has been one heck of a day, I'm gonna tell you that right now. Shaft on the edger's broke. The housing is bad on the uh, turf tracer deck. And I gotta buy a new engine. This is what I'm gonna be replacing. All right, so I believe this is your spindle. That's what the blades is attached to and what the pulley, pulley attached to on the top. I had to use the uh, puller to get it out of this housing. It was in there pretty good. But the spindle we're gonna reuse. I think that's still good, I hope. This is the part we're, we're replacing. Okay, these here are just dust covers, what they told me. So that one goes there. And that one goes there. All right, so I got the spindle back in there. And this will go like that. And there's like a little key that they that goes right there. All right, so here's the little key. It just slides right down in there. 
Somehow. Just like that. That same notch for the keys right here on the bearing. Or the pulley, I'm sorry. Right here on the pulley. So that's how you line it up. Just like that. All right, I'm pretty sure I'm doing this right. I got it coming up through here. You hook the blade down from underneath. I got all these bolts in here like they were before. So now I just gotta tighten them up. It's a little bit more difficult than uh, doing this with somebody else. It's hard to film and do it at the same time. But I like doing this kind of stuff because, you know, I didn't know how to do this. And I'm sure there's probably other people that don't know how to do this. And I'm not even sure I'm doing it right, but I'm doing it. I'm trying it. I'm learning. And I hope you guys are, are learning as well. I think that sounds much better. Mucho better. I gotta buy a new belt though. I see what I did wrong that uh, uh, when I was playing with it before, I took the belt off and I didn't have it all the way on and uh, started the blades up and I just chewed it up. Because <coughs> it was hidden where it wasn't supposed to be hidden because it wasn't tight enough, so. Oh well, gotta buy a new belt, but I think it's ready to go. I think it sounds a lot better.